So during all the lockdowns, a lot of artists have not been traveling to do concerts and a lot of them travel, do concerts to make their money. So Erica Badu, she had created a virtual concert and she called it her quarantine concert series, the apocalypse one. Okay. And she charged people $1 to hear that alongside with her fans with a live band. Now, normally to see Erica Badu, it's going to be about $25 minimum. And that's not even the VIP seats or anything like that. Then you will have to go to the concession stand because you know, you're going to want something to drink. You want something to eat while you're there. So you're going to spend a lot more than $25 when you're at that concert, you could spend minimum. What let's say if you go with your lady, let's say those tickets, 50 bucks right there, you go get a couple of drinks, something to eat while you're there. You could easily totally spend a hundred dollars total. I mean, outside of tickets or maybe more it depends on how much you drink when you're there. Right? So getting an Erica Badu concert for $1, you are saving so much money in the process. Now she's having another concert called the apocalypse to the rooms, but this time it's going to cost $2. And then people, do you know they was being upset and bothered because she's charging $2 for that. First and foremost, you do not have to watch it. No one's forcing you. Secondly, why can't Erica Badu get $2? $25 is normal. Maybe more depends on the arena. We will go on $25. You still is saving $2 to watch the show. You can sit there and put it on your TV and watch it with your family. If you want to like Erica Badu, what is wrong with her being supported by people? I don't see an issue with that. Now she says that the people that's questioning the fee, why she's charging $2, two whole dollars. Listen, if you're mad about two whole dollars, you shouldn't be even paying for the internet. You shouldn't be paying for a phone either. If you're mad about a whole $2, come on, man, this is stupid. And it bothers me because we have money for the, for other things but we can't give money to someone that maybe we like or someone within our community. So to the people that complaining, she said, I say to them, did you ask iTunes when you bought music? He said, no, you didn't. You bought the music, you enjoyed it, but I'm not just giving you a track. He said, I'm giving you a show with the integrity of my live show. And I would say, thank you very much because there's also a donate button. So if you have more than a dollar, then we'll take that too, because it feeds a community of artists. Now the, she said that she's living out her dream performing in her bed. He said, I'm the laziest artist in the world. My dream was always performing in my bed. And guess what? It came through. Now she says that what inspired her to launch a virtual concert series, I performed eight months out of the year. He said, it's my main source of income. And there is a whole universe of people that is supported from the tour. He said, this is the only thing that truly supports the lifestyle. And she says that, uh, her and her band have been taking the recommended safety precautions, like wearing masks, washing their hands. He said, all of our hands are three shades lighter than our arms. She joked, but if that's her income eight months out of the year, she's on the road singing. Then right now she's missing out on money. So we're looking at March, April. We don't know if president Trump going to extend it past may. It could be possible three months. We've been locked down. That's three months of income or at least two for sure that Erica's missing. So that is a steal to get a concert for $2. And if you complaining about that, then I'm sorry. I really believe it's not even a money thing. It's that broke mentality. Some people have, because when you have a broke mentality, you don't matter if you got $200,000, you, you're not going to keep it long because your mentality is broken. And then you, when you see someone that possibly look like you, cause I know who it is. I know it was black folk. I know, I know, I know my people like the back of my hand. I know it's some black folks complaining, you know, but they'll get a money to Jordan. They'll get a money to Apple. They'll get a money to whoever else. And iPhones cost way more than $2. And my iPhones are going up and up and up but you don't want to give Erica Badu $2. Well, I tell you, I know all about it. I can relate to Erica Badu because when we have done things and say $2, why y'all want to do $2? I'm doing a daily show. 
I'm, I'm doing everything I can to make sure you have some content daily. Let's say that we just ask them to support us just a minimum of $2 a month, not a day, a month. And you want to complain about that? You know, some of those people that would do that. Not, I'm not saying none of y'all. We're talking about those who would do that. So I can relate to Erica with the situation. You working hard to do these things. You working hard. Like Erica, I'm paying people too. So of course we get, we, everything that we take, we greatly appreciate it. Anything we get, we greatly appreciate it. But to com complain and don't realize what we do and what we work hard for, you know, whether she's a music artist, content creators here, or you creating podcasts, whatever you're doing. I mean, come on. When I like people, I financially support them. I always do it once a month because I know how it feels to be creating content or you're creating music. I want to support. So support Erica Badu's concert. It's just $2. Man, your internet bill costs more than $2. I just can't stand when people act that way behind one or $2. It don't make no sense. But let me know in the comments if you have dealt with people like that, that don't want to spend one or $2, but they want everything for free 99. They want everything for free from you. Don't want to give you anything for whatever it is. They don't. But let me know in the comments if you dealt with anybody like that.